Here is the final pro uh, project worksheet and just to go over it so you know what all the bits and pieces are, please fill in your name and then pick your project. This is intended to be a little bit of a taste of a real world project where you don't get complete 100% freedom because you would be working with a client. In this sense, you have a fictional client and the client that you are creating these for is me. I'm going to be the one telling you, well, I'd rather see this change or that change and you need to make those changes. Um, but I do want to give you quite a bit of freedom with this that you can um, kind of have fun with it and play with the things that you're going to make. So here's some of your options. You've got a music band, um, new up and coming band that want you to establish their look and raise awareness. Um, look for keywords in these to help you figure out what materials later in another step that you will be using. Um, such as they want to spread the word locally and to the world. If you want to spread the word to the world, you have to do something on the internet, right? That's what I mean by look at the keywords. Uh, geo in cash enthusiast group. If you're not sure what geocaching is, check it out online. It's something I think sounds kind of fun um, and could appeal to a broad range of people and types and age ranges. Um, professional photographer. I don't really specify what type of cutting edge photographer they are. That's up to you. Historical reenactment group or renaissance fair. Um, or you can choose to do a personal project. Now this is really intended for those of you that do have something already in the works that you need to create materials for. So if you have your own personal business, if you are a personal, if you are a photographer or a web designer or um, any of those things that you can think of or you're putting together an event that you need to have promotional materials for, this is your chance to use a class and use my feedback as a professional designer to help you create these materials. Um, so you would check that box and then you would need to describe to me what the project is and what you hope to accomplish with the materials you make. So for example, if you were um, organizing a group for youth help that you would want to have materials to spread to the community to be able to hand hand to hand such as business cards or a brochure definitely a flyer and maybe a website page that they could go to from information on those materials to find out more about what you're doing that's what the personal project is. I do reserve the right to tweak this for you a little bit. Um, I do want this to be um, I want these projects each to be more or less equal in workload. I don't want just because you pick one thing you get much more work than someone who picked another thing. Okay, so the next step is what demographic is your client wanting to attract? Your choice will play into the styles, fonts, and colors you choose for your materials. Make a selection in each category. So if you had chosen, for example, we're going to go with music band because that's kind of fun. This is where you could say, well, I want to make music that appeals maybe more to 20 to 30 somethings that uh, maybe have average Joe Jane going on and the emotion that you want to portray through your materials and have people feel and connect with your group is maybe um, creative, imaginative, and wise. Now I pulled these off of that emotional um, logo chart that we've looked at before that looks like a rainbow. I know it's on our color theory page. It's also on week seven, I believe. Um, has a link to it, probably seven or eight because those were the weeks we did our logos. So the next one, part four, choose four of the options below to create for your final project check out or see the website for combination suggestions. So we have a band. What would work really great for a band? Well, obviously we've got some music going on, so we probably need a CD label and an album cover. A event poster would be a good thing. And my guess would be we don't really need a letterhead or um, double-sided 
business card, but maybe a website landing page, which is what I would choose, or maybe even an eight and a half by 11 flyer instead of the 11 by 17 with tear off tabs if you're a new startup and you want people to take that information with them when they go. So once you have four selected, um, let's see, oh, I forgot you uh, have to have four of these selected. You can also make one of the four and other if you don't see something you want to make up here. However, what I'm creating on the site are support pages for each one of these options. So if you choose other and fill it in, you may need to come and see me about how to accomplish that. If we need to look up templates for you or materials or instructions on how to make whatever that is. Once you've filled this out, um, I'm going to actually switch mine back over there. Once you've filled this out, save the file. So I'm in Acrobat. I'm just going to go Command S to save it. And then um, that file you will rename to be FP, oh, FP Worksheet Your Name. And then turn it into the spot on Canvas.